So how do you go about making five to $10,000 profit per month every single month consistently from the comfort of your own home whilst being able to retain your freedom and not chase around clients or chase after clients and do a bunch of service delivery? First and foremost, this question actually came from my WhatsApp group. It's a completely free WhatsApp group called The Awakening. It's a community of people that are awakened to the idea of what's going on in the business world right now. A lot of people are just making a bunch of money selling you on the idea of starting a certain business model when realistically they're making all their money from the actual talking of the business model than actually doing the business model and I'm here to awaken you guys to that fact so please try to look past all of the flashy animations and all the freaking amazing storytelling these guys are getting into and all this crazy stuff because um, I'm here to tell you that like yo this all overhyped guys but anyway long story short I'm gonna read out a question I got from a guy called Reese. I believe he's based in the UK, he's in the actual WhatsApp group. I'll plug that below if you wanna join. It's completely free, by the way. And we just talk a lot about like building a personal brand and selling information that you actually know and you actually care about and you're actually passionate about. And building a business you're just passionate about, you can actually put a dent in humanity and actually be proud of. Instead of just trying to run around and sell Facebook ads that you don't even care about. You know what I mean? So the question goes like this. He put, who here is running around chasing clients? Maybe you've hit five to 10,000 pounds a month, which is about seven to 15-ish K, I believe it is, 14 K a month. Maybe you're not there yet. Perhaps you finally left your job for a bit of money, but you're still a slave. A slave to your own business instead of someone else's. You still have to service clients every week. Is it better? Sure it is, you know, servicing your own clients. As someone that's out of the nine to five trap, it definitely is better to, you know, be a slave in your own business to somebody else's. I'm guessing that's what he means, you know, I'm paraphrasing here. But do you feel free? Definitely not. The personal brand is great and really helpful for the first steps, but how do you break out of being in your own hamster wheel? Any ideas? So that's the question I got from Reese, and I'm gonna break this down. To me, it sounds like he's actually gone out there and he started a personal brand around building an agency. So for those that don't know, you can actually build a personal brand around your agency services. So for example, let's say you're selling Facebook ads to home renovation businesses. But well, what you can actually do is you can create an Instagram account, you can create a YouTube channel, you can start producing content for home renovation business owners and showing them how to get leads, how to run their own Facebook ads. And in turn, what that will do is it will start to slowly over time build you an audience and you'll be able to start getting inbound leads. Don't wait for inbound leads though, guys please still remain and do cold outreach, but with a social platform that actually has a personal brand, because think about it logically, if you're a business owner and you're running a gym business or a restaurant or something like that, and you get two people message you talking about Facebook ads, one of them is a completely bland, dead Instagram account, and the other account has a dude that's talking about Facebook ads for, for real estate, excuse me, for restaurants, let's say the niche is real estate. Let's say you're a real estate agent and you see a kid and he's messaging you about Facebook ads and setting up a meeting with you because he's good at Facebook ads. And then you see on, you go onto his profile and you see that he's talking about Facebook ads. You're probably gonna go to that kid. Let's, let, let's, let's be real. You're not gonna go work with the person that doesn't even have a profile picture or has like a logo, a logo as their profile picture. So Reese, honestly, great question. I'm gonna break this down for you guys. So what I would recommend you do, right, is the first thing you need to do is you need to find a way to programize your service delivery or outsource it completely. And here's what I mean by that. Outsourcing, honestly, to me, is just not enough. And this is somebody who's done the whole, built a multi six figure agency per year agency. I've done the whole online course thing. I've done the whole coaching thing. So I've done and made a multiple six figure business in each one of the realms. I've had an online course, which is do it yourself. I've done the coaching, which is done with you. And I've done the whole agency stuff, which is done for you. And I've scaled each one of those individually to multiple six figures a year on that, on that run rate. Um, now, I'm here to tell you that there's different levels of freedom. If it's freedom you're going after, true freedom, where you can literally go on holiday and still make 10 grand in a week, without even needing to pick up a laptop more than once, you need to figure out how to programize your service delivery and generate traffic. You need to generate traffic to some sort of funnel that people can opt in, buy, the sales process has to be automated and they need to be able to get results in an automated fashion without you needing to be there as well. If you can't figure out that, you're going to be a slave to your business. There are ways to do this with maybe like a high ticket coaching program. If you've got like an appointment setter, you're running ads to a funnel, you've got a set of reaching out and, and setting meetings on your appointment, uh, on your, on your, 
appointment scheduling app, whatever you use, maybe that's Acuity or, or Calendly. And then you've got a sales rep taking that call and then you sell somebody into a program that's like a high ticket programized service delivery type thing. And then you've got trained coaches in there, but that is way too advanced for the average person that's just literally trying to scale to like 10K a month from zero. What I just said there is more of an advanced strategy that will get you to like 50, 60, 100, 200 grand a month. Literally, I've seen people get to like 2 million a month with that. I'm not even joking. Somebody who I'm thinking of in my head has a very similar program and he makes like 3.9 million a month. I think his name's Cole Gordon. You can go and look into him, literally. So the first thing you need to do is you need to understand that even when you outsource your agency services, it's still gonna be a ball ache. I can tell you this right now. Like I said, I've been at that level where I've had a coaching business or, or should I say, in fact, let me give you the, the program instead. I've had a program that's done, you know, more than 10 grand a month in a month whilst also running an agency that's also doing 10 grand in a month at the exact same time. And I'm telling you, all of my attention was focused on putting out fires in the agency, even though I had a team. But the program on the other hand, it went by without a hitch. There was no problems. People were getting results. People loved it. Didn't really need to do any, any work for that. So I'm, I'm here to tell you, be careful of believing these hyped up gurus online. And I'm here to tell you as well, that making 10 grand a month from an actual program that you care about is very different from making 10 grand a month profit from an agency. I'm, it's a completely different game. Making 10 grand a month profit from an agency is quite a ball ache. You still have to manage your media buyers. You still have to have maybe like a manager in place. I'd probably would advise you to do that as well if you're at that particular level, because honestly it gets way too much. And you've got to make sure that your clients aren't breathing down your neck and it feels like you're just a service provider and you've got to perform every single moment in time or you're just gonna get fired and they're gonna go and find someone else. It also feels like you're very replaceable, easily replaceable because you're just a commodity and there's a million different agency owners that they can go to at any time, any place. Whereas with the program stuff, because I was Montel Gordon and people were known me for a, a certain system, which was the hybrid system, which was leveraging Upwork to help you scale your marketing agency, there wasn't very many people talking about the hybrid system. It was something that I created, I didn't copy it. I mean, I took certain information from all different areas and all different industries, and I put that all together into one succinct program that helped agency owners achieve a said result. And there wasn't many people that had it like that. In fact, I was the only program in the world that taught in that exact specific way with my life experience. There's only, it's one of one. There is no replacing that. You know what I'm trying to say? I mean, there, there are many courses out there that will teach you to, to, to scale an agency to 10K a month, but not in the way how I did it, not with the life experience I bring to the table, which is why I keep telling people to bring to build a personal brand because you almost become irreplaceable. Even if you offer the same thing, like me and Iman Gadji, you can help you both scale your agency to 10K per month, but some people might resonate with me more than Iman Gadji or vice versa. You get the point I'm trying to make. So that's the first thing. I highly recommend you programize your services. And the way pro what I mean by programize is turn your services from offering a service to honestly putting it into like a program format. That's, that's the, the easiest way of, of doing this. And again, this is not gonna be easy, by the way. I'm not saying this is gonna be easy, so don't think this is gonna be easy, by the way. I know I make these videos and I'm not trying to make this sound like anything's easy or anything like that, but you really just have to, you, you, you kind of have to just listen to what I'm saying and obviously stick to it and programize your service. Let me give you a real example. I was in a program by Sam Ovens, right? And one of the dudes in the program, one of the actual students was in one of his previous programs and he used him as a case study. And one of the students basically was an agency owner that was making 17 grand a month that was completely swamped with work. And all he was doing was Facebook ads for accountants. What Sam Ovens decided to tell him to do, right? And he was stuck at 17 grand per month, by the way. He couldn't move too much client work. You guys know if you're already at like five to 10K a month, what I'm talking about. This guy, Sam Ovens, told, told the dude, you know what, you need to program out your service. You need to move your service from doing Facebook ads to teaching Facebook ads to accountants, right? So it's the same niche, it's the same service, it's just that it's delivered in a different way. You're still helping accountants with Facebook ads, but you've gone from now doing the thing for them to actually just teaching the thing in an online program. Sam Ovens was way beyond his time, by the way. This guy is a genius from ages, literally ages. So this guy decided to listen to Sam Ovens and he scaled his, you know, new kind of like agency. I don't even know what you would call that. Maybe a con that would be a consulting business at that point. He scaled his consulting business from 17 grand a month, which is not bad by the way, 17 grand a month is healthy money. But he ended up scaling way past like a hundred grand, 150 grand a month or something crazy like that. Put it this way, it was more than a hundred grand a month. No doubt about it. So that's just the kind of scalability programizing your business has. The second thing I recommend you do if you want true freedom, especially when you're building a personal brand, is you need to start leveraging advertising. 
you need to start running ads, whether that's just spending $20 a day, $30 a day, $50 a day. If you're already making like five, 10 grand a month, $30 a day, $50 a day, you need to start leveraging your money to work for you. The reason why I say this is because if you're building a personal brand, or if you're running an agency and you're at 10K a month, outreach is just not scalable anymore. And you guys know this. I've seen people tell me that they've done 14,000 outreach and they've only landed a handful of meetings and they've not closed a single client out of them. That's not scalable. Here's a second point I wanna make. I can launch an ad today, spend $100 in a day on it and reach more people than you have in the last four months doing 14,000 outreach in one day because it's scalable. I'm gonna repeat that. I can literally set up an ad right now that would take me maybe three hours max. I could you script out the ad, record the ad. If it's an Instagram ad that is, record the ad, put it on my Instagram and then launch it as an ad all in like three hours. It will probably get approved tomorrow. So 24, I'll call it 24 hours. The ad will be live. And in the first day of running the ad, it will have reached more people than you have in the last six months of doing cold outreach. So I can get more done in one day and reach more people with my marketing message than you can in six months whilst doing cold outreach. It's just not scalable, guys. I keep trying to say this to you guys, but none of you guys are listening. It's just simple mathematics. Like even on my Instagram, I'm reaching like 80,000 people per month with my Instagram. And that's just Instagram ads alone. I've not even really touched or even increased my ad budget on that. It's absolutely insane. So the second point is you need to leverage advertising because it's going to be able to replace you from ever having to do cold outreach again, which is not scalable. And it's going to stop you from having to be on the content hamster wheel of you continuously posting content over and over again. I can set up one ad right now. Well, I actually did this on my Instagram. I've got like two ads running right now that I set up maybe back in September, October, and I've not touched them since. And they're still bringing me leads every day. In fact, my appointment setter set seven meetings yesterday. He's already set two meetings today. He set nine meetings in the last 24 hours. I've not lifted a finger. The third thing you need to do is you need to build a funnel that pre-qualifies your leads and pulls in leads to you so you don't have to constantly qualify them. Here's what I mean by that. If you're running an ad, I do recommend running them to some sort of maybe an ebook, maybe a free training, something on the lines of that. If I was running an agency, this is what I would genuinely do. And I made a video about this just the other day in my free, I think I posted it in my free group, so the link will be below. Here's what I would do. Nobody thinks like this for their business though. Like genuinely, I've only just started thinking like this with my business. But when I was running an agency, I definitely wasn't thinking like this. I was just so tuned into these SMA gurus that I, all I thought about was doing more and more cold outreach. That's just like one of like 50 ways of getting clients. Let me give you an example as to what I would do. If I was running an agency right now and it's like 5K a month, I would create, let's say my niche was uh, real estate agents. Just, we can all picture real, real estate agents. I feel like they're very online and savvy people as well. They, they, they talk about you know building personal brands. I've actually seen a lot of people in the real estate space build personal brands. But long story short, let's say my, my service was just the plain old Facebook ads for real estate agents, right? I would go out there and I would start creating either a free training, which is what I did funnily enough on LinkedIn, or better yet, I would actually create maybe a PDF a free downloadable resource. I could get AI to basically help me with the template and obviously me write it myself. And what I would do is I'd create an ebook or a template or a resource that I know would appeal to my ideal client. So my ideal client would be a real estate agent that wants help with Facebook ads. So I would literally create a template or resources on how to run your first ad if you're a real estate agent. And then what I would do is I would have that as a free download and I would run ads to that using Facebook and Instagram. So Facebook, Instagram, I would literally just take them to a landing page on ClickFunnels, get them to opt in with their name, their email, their phone number, so they can go and download this free template, this free PDF, this free resource. It's called a lead magnet, by the way. Here's an even better strategy that it's a little bit more advanced, but just to keep your advertising costs low, you can have what you call a self-liquidating offer, which is where you maybe charge like $17 for a downloadable resource or like a free mini course. It's not free, but you know what I mean? A $17 mini course on how to run ads if you're a Facebook ad, if you're a real estate agent. What that allows you to do is generate leads for pretty much free. Nobody thinks like this though, because you're so tuned in to all the flashy animations on like crazy stuff that you can't even, you, everybody's on mental masturbation mode at all times. It's like a dopamine hit every three seconds that you guys need. It's literally insane. You're running around like headless chickens because you're so tuned in to Netflix style content and flashy animations that you can't even think for your own business. And you've got to watch channels like mine where it's, there's no animations that would actually teach you how to actually make money instead of it just looking pretty. Anyway, so what I would do is I'd put together resources like that and I would put them on landing pages. This is nothing new as well. It's just that you don't think like this. I'd run traffic to that. I'd get people to download that. And those leads that download the ebook, again, think about it. 
would you really click on a landing page and go and download an ebook that literally was titled how to run Facebook ads if you're a real estate agent in 2024. If you're not a real estate agent and you don't care about Facebook ads, of course you wouldn't. Nobody's gonna click on that. Like, if, you're, if you're like a, I don't know, a restaurant owner and you, you, you see that, you might click on it, maybe. But if you're, you're not a business, if you're not a business owner and you don't even have a business, you're not a real estate agent and you don't care about Facebook ads, you're not gonna click on that. So the people that are gonna be downloading your ebook is what I'm trying to say, are gonna be qualified. So then what ends up happening is, and here's a second strategy. So the people that are gonna be downloading this ebook are going to be qualified leads. So the people that download this ebook are gonna be qualified leads. So you now got some qualified leads. Now here's what you can do. So that leads me on to point number four. What you wanna do is you want to have an appointment setter, a commission-based appointment setter in your team to automate the appointment setting on your calendar. So what you would do is you would have traffic going to a funnel that funnel then qualifies them with a lead magnet. You would then have an appointment setter reach out to the people that put in their name, email, and phone numbers. So you would have a Zapier set up, a Zapier, a Zap basically set up, and you would have a notification be pinged to your appointment setter every time a new lead came in. And obviously if they're awake and it's within business hours, you would get your appointment setter to either dial those numbers or you could just set them up in a conversation. You give them the scripts to your appointment setter teach them how to you know set meetings and then what you do is you would have a system for setting meetings on your appointment on your schedule on your calendar now and i'm not joking this strategy can literally take you to like 100 grand a month just this, this alone like appointment setter a single ad two couple a couple of ads that actually work a lead magnet that's actually valuable and then an appointment setter dialing those numbers or reaching out to those numbers and i'm not joking this strategy can literally make you like 100 grand a month there's literally people doing this right now that are making more than 100 grand a month and they're, they're very free, to be honest with you. The next thing you can do, the next level up to that, is now that you've actually started getting a way to automatically get meetings on your calendar, because you've got, like I said, a programized service, so service delivery is taken care of. You've now got ads that are gonna replace you from having to create a bunch of content like I'm doing right now, constantly. You're then gonna build a funnel, giving away some sort of free resource, free training, free lead magnet, that only is tailored to your specific niche and your specific service that you offer. You're gonna have one strong appointment set on commission base to either dial these numbers or get them on SMS and text these numbers to set them up on your calendar. Once you start scaling from there on in, you've got meetings on your calendar now, automatically, you're gonna start getting swamped with meetings, which is a good place to be in, by the way. A very good place to be in. So, you know, thank you to Montel. Now's a good time to drop a like and uh, comment and subscribe if you're not subscribed. But once you start scaling from there on in, to scale this up even more, you would just take half the calls and you would hire out the other half of the calls until eventually you've got maybe one single sales rep taking all your calls for you. And this single sales rep would jump on the calls and they would qualify them and close them for you. Once that's done, you can actually start offering maybe a reoccurring service if you're doing the whole coaching thing, or you can, or you can scale up your agency. So this works by the way for both people that are doing high ticket coaching, or if you're selling some sort of service online that's worth more than maybe two grand a month. I do recommend, it doesn't matter, if your business requires you to book meetings and then you pull up to those meetings and you sell some sort of service for $2,000 or that's your goal, book in a call with me genuinely and I'll help you with this. But other than that, you can take this video, run with it and you will make money. I'm not joking. You will make more money from this one video than all of the flashy animated videos you see on YouTube this year. I'm, I'm not even joking. Go and test it. Like actually write down, next time you watch one of these flashy animated videos, right? Literally write down on a piece of paper, what did I actually learn from this video and can I implement it today, right now? The answer is probably no. This video though, I literally just gave you a step-by-step -step plan. You could probably pull out a piece of paper right now and go and set up your first ad in the next two hours and start getting leads today. That's the difference. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this video. That's how you can obtain your freedom. So you've got to automate a couple of things. You've got to automate client service delivery. I would try my 100% hardest to programize that. I'd move from selling a done for you service to a programized program, basically, long story short. The next thing you need to do is you need to automate your traffic sources so you can run ads for that. So you're not constantly having to do outreach or post content depending on your, if you're running an agency or building a personal brand to sell coaching or whatever it is that you're doing. The next thing I would do is I would have a funnel that automatically qualifies these leads and then I would have an appointment setter in the background doing that as well. Then once I start scaling up and getting these meetings on autopilot, so that all that right there gets you automated meetings set on your calendar like I am doing right now. There's a setter in my inbox, literally. I, I can literally see the notifications on my phone. I can literally see the conversations pinging off on my phone right now as I'm making this video. So as I'm making this video, my appointment set is in my Instagram DMs right now, 
talking to people, qualifying them and then putting them on my calendar. I then turn up to those calls if they're qualified and then I'll close them myself. When I start scaling this up and getting much bigger than what I am right now, which I think we will, because I'm not even spending maybe even one fifteenth of the ad spend I want to spend right now. I'm literally, the aim for me is literally to spend around 17 grand a month on ad spend. I did the maths the other day and my minimum, my average ad spend should be about 17,500 US dollars per month on ads. You don't have to start there. You can start with like $300 a month, $500 a month. Move it up when you start closing clients. And here's the craziest thing with this. You can't actually lose with this. Because if you run the ads the way how I teach you in my program and stuff like that, link is below, I don't want to plug it, but link is below if you want to work with me one-to-one. -one. What ends up happening is the leads that you generate anyway goes into your audience. So even when you generate a lead, we're going to get them part of your audience that builds your personal brand long-term anyway. So even if you get a lead today, they might not convert until 30 days down the line, 60 days down the line, but that's okay because they're part of your audience. They get warm over time. It's actually even better that way. Because then when you get on a call with somebody like, oh my God, yeah, Montel, let's go. I've been watching your content for the last three months. This is how you build a proper business, by the way, guys. This is a proper business. This is not some sort of like get rich quick. This is not like, oh, I'm just gonna pretend I know Facebook ads. This is like, you're actually serving real clients, building real business systems, and you're not just doing sporadic marketing, running around doing this piece of outreach and that piece of outreach, and then if it, if it hits, it hits, and if it doesn't, it doesn't. No, we're building a proper, predictable marketing system where you know if you put one dollar into the system it will bring back out three dollars four dollars five dollars six dollars all the way up to like twenty dollars depending on your ads your industry that sort of stuff so if you are any of the free maybe you're an online coach an agency owner or you're selling some sort of digital product or anything like that as long as it's more than like two thousand dollars maybe one to two thousand ish dollars per month or a one-off fee doesn't matter click the link below book in a call with me directly and i'll speak with you very soon if not, join the free WhatsApp group. It's completely free. It's called The Awakening. It's a group of people that are awakened to this level of thinking. I call them The Awakened because they have eyes to see and they are not blind. That being said, guys, I'm rooting for your success. Stay away from the flashy animations and um, build proper businesses. Peace.